Hello, my name's Danielle. I'm from empoweredreadings.com and I've never done a pick a card reading before. So we're gonna see how this goes. So if you've never done one before, I'll give you a little explanation in just a second. Um, if you have, the question is, what do your angels want you to know right now? And then you can go ahead and pick a pile and go to that timestamp. They're all in the description box below. So if you have never done a pick a card reading, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna close your eyes, take four deep breaths. So you do in through your nose and then you do it until you can feel the air going all the way down to your stomach. And then you exhale through your mouth and you do this four times so that you're more grounded and centered in your body. This will help you feel everything, all the messages and be able to understand and hear your intuition a little bit better. So after you've taken those four deep breaths, you just look at the cards and sometimes it's the crystals, sometimes it's the cards themselves and sometimes it's just the number that you like. So you just pick that card and then go to the timestamp below. So I'll give you a second to do your four deep breaths and then choose your card. So please remember this is just a general reading and that some things are going to resonate and some things won't. And if something doesn't, please, please just discard it and know that it just wasn't a message for you. There is so many people that could possibly hear this and there's going to be a lot of different messages for everyone. Hello, pile of one. So you chose, this is actually ocean jasper, crazy enough. I just love the colors because it actually made me think of the angelic realms. I don't know if you guys can really see it that well with this lens, but yeah, it's just really, really beautiful stone. I absolutely love it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, you guys also chose the Angel Therapy Healing deck and Archangel Gabriel, who is the Angel of Communication. So I'm a little bit interested to see what comes up. I should also mention that I did already pre-pull uh, a bunch of cards. I just thought it would save some time. So I thought we'd just see what we got together. So Divine Guidance. New project, that's exciting. Sensitivity, helping children. Oh, sorry guys, I'm already seeing a lot of grounding issues here. <laughs> Lots of uh, clearing coming up in the root chakra. So um, ask for what you want, retreat, and happy news. I'm not sure, but I think you guys actually got an extra card from the other piles. But uh, something for me is I actually don't use any kind of system. I just kind of pull cards until I feel like I shouldn't anymore. So, yeah, <laughs> if you see any of the other readings, that's why. Um, you also have the goddess, god box. And third eye chakra. Okay. Let's just get a feel here for what the reading has. Okay, pile number one. I actually was just feeling so ungrounded from your guys' energy that I just stopped, went outside real quick, put my feet on the ground in the dirt and in the grass and just really regretted myself there. So that right away makes me feel a little bit like you guys do not like being grounded. And for you who are like, what does grounded even mean? It just means that your soul, all your energy, everything is actually in its right place, like your energetic body its feet, if it had a feet, would be in your feet and its head would be where your head is. And I think for you guys, 
you spend a lot of time with like your head like a whole head out of your body <laughs> so I mean honestly it happens a lot we don't like going through some of the hard stuff we've been through so we'll just have a habit to just kind of pop out a little bit so we don't have to feel it as much so anyways <laughs> so some suggestions like for you guys is yeah if you are possible or able if it's it's a possibility for you sorry that was a mistake uh go outside put your feet not in your shoes but like right on the earth ground and then just focus on like if you've ever seen there's like an acupuncturist point in the ball of your foot right under your big toe if you can just close your eyes and focus all your energy going down from your head into your feet through that point under your big toe into the ground as far as it can go that will like help you be more properly aligned in your body aka grounded <laughs> or you can wear the color red some of you might not like that you could also wear the color black and that will ground you as well uh funny enough one of my teachers used to always say like if you don't want to be grounded and you don't like the color red because you hate anything to do with grounding wear red underwear that will help you out like it's on your body it counts you're intentionally putting it on you want to be grounded that's good you can also eat foods that are red like apples or i'm trying to think of red fruit now raspberries strawberries thank you <laughs> Had a little bit of a brain fart there uh yeah like even actually that could be like a really good thing to pay attention to if you guys have weird cravings for certain foods all the time like pay attention to the color of it because that could mean that that chakra is a little out of balance a little out of whack and that could be why you're craving the food uh also drinking water helps it just helps you uh clear every all your energy have better flow and yeah just grounds you and also the four deep breaths that's also why they're so important to do because the whole purpose to why you should be grounded is if you're not uh like you're uh, let's sorry let me like just backtrack here so we all have ego and there's nothing wrong with it when it's like in its right spot in our body so if you are not grounded your ego usually goes from being in this nice little spot kind of between your solar solar plexus and your sacral chakra and it goes up into your head and that's when you get all these chaotic thoughts your mind's racing you have a hard time focusing you might be really anxious like it's just like a mess up there uh that is usually because everything in your body is too high up so then that's where your ego goes but if you're grounded and centered and breathing deeply and connected to the earth and the ego is nice and tucked in its safe little spot and your mind's nice and clear to see things feel things from that unbiased um, viewpoint so that's my big speech on why it's good to be grounded and maybe you should consider looking to some ways to get grounded that's my big speech on why it's good to be grounded and maybe you should consider looking to some ways to get grounded so the next message I kind of getting for you guys is that you might be a little scared to step out of the box. Like you have some wants, you have some desires, you have like these things you want to bring in, but there's a lot of fear on getting it started, on maybe even feeling like you're deserving of it or you'll be successful. Like you're, you're scared a bit of, of failing. And I think this also could be why a lot of your roots coming up is that all our like core belief systems that we were taught or accidentally or intentionally from our family, from our friends or community, maybe from any like religious upbringings, they're all in our root chakra. It, like it stays in there. It's like what we are kind of built on and it just says that there's like some shadow work to do in there so 
if you guys have heard that word before, like working on your shadow side or even like acknowledging your shadow side, it's not like this it doesn't have to be this big scary thing. We all have shadow sides and the only time they ever hold us back is when we're too scared to look at them. We're too scared to see the imperfection in us. Then we like live in fear of it. But if we can accept it, acknowledge it, and even like work together with it, then all of a sudden all these things become possible for us. So what is a good news here is that everything here is like the angels love just telling you solutions. <laughs> they will never just be like, here's all this stuff, now deal with it. It's more like here, this is like our suggestions to how to get out of this. So for this situation, it's saying uh, first to manifest it because unfortunately, if we have blocks in our root or foundational systems, it does affect what we can manifest in. Uh, just like all those limiting beliefs because they are limiting until we realize them and release them. So if you guys have ever heard of a God box, it's kind of just like a container. It doesn't have to be an actual box or like a, like a, could even be like a jar. And you just write down, um, Actually, I can just read you this card. It says, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a, into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. So if you didn't get that, it just means that it's kind of like putting it down in words in a physical reality, what you want help with, and you're giving them permission to help you. And uh, I should also say, like, don't let the words God scare you because it's just meaning that higher power or the angels or your guides or crystal energy or Reiki energy, the universal energy, whatever it is you believe. It's just saying, look, I'm asking for help. Please help me with this. I release it to you. It's like saying, like, I, you realize that if you just keep hanging on to it, it will stay there. But if you release it to the universe to help you get rid of it, it's saying, hey, I'm ready. Let's let this go. It's very healing and clearing. So that's great. Um, and then let's just, sorry, just look at this. Express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. And it says... Third eye chakra, it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. So, uh, we do live in a pretty masculine society, and we have to remember that both male and females do have masculine and feminine energies. And I do find of most females I've met, even though they are female, they've lived in this very masculine energy aspect of themselves where they're like afraid. <laughs> to be too girly or be the weak girl or the emotional girl or the girl who can't do things for herself and this is just saying like hey like the divine feminine in you isn't weak and pathetic it's strong and it's able to have compassion and hold space and like creative energy comes so much from the feminine and like seeing like how do I put it? Like, instead of like the masculine energy is like, I just got to do and try to cater to other people. So I get things done or the feminine energy is more like I will just attract in what I need. And it's really good to embrace that. It means it just takes a lot of unnecessary stress out when it comes to the creative manifestations and wanting to bring in the right people or the right things. Yeah. So a way to do that is I would suggest looking into affirmations or maybe looking a little bit into more like what divine feminine energy looks like, what a healthy feminine energy is versus the unhealthy, because I think we often get those two things confused. And knowing that it's, yeah, safe to see love in all its forms. So it might mean that you got a little bit of a fear of seeing with your psychic gifts. So 
this is honestly pretty normal in our society to grow up being a bit afraid of like ghosts and seeing things like that and seeing them how they might look but honestly once you open the door to it you realize like they don't look like they say they do in the movies <laughs> they're not like these creepy scary things and some people actually don't even see things they just like hear things or they feel the truth of things and it's also unique but just know that you have the power to turn the switch on and off so don't be afraid to be okay to seeing the angels and hearing the angels advice they are of the highest good and for love so that's usually maybe like a good suggestion it's just always say the only one I see that is <laughs> oh sorry here's a cat <laughs> So we're just going to move him out of the way there. Sorry, guys. I have a few of them around here. And I guess Steve just wanted to uh, say hi to you all. <laughs> they see you, Steve. <laughs> so I guess Steve wanted to say hi. So here's Steve. One of my many cats. <laughs> and he seems pretty content to be sitting there. Let's see if I can get him to move. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I was actually kind of surprised it hasn't happened already. Okay, so let's see what else do we got here. Lots of change coming in, so that's really awesome to see. So, um, let's see. Divine guidance. The ideas you are receiving are heaven-sent answers to your prayers. And like a newborn baby, your actions are growing your ideas into a reality so it says that you're like manifesting things the angels are hearing you and it is coming towards you guys yeah you definitely have something good coming in um it's just kind of giving you some like little reminders like um try your best to have clear communication with yourself and the universe and with others just to help any misunderstandings and it helps speed up what you want to come in. Um, let's see, retreat to block out distractions, spend quiet time alone so that you can focus on your priorities and your prayers answered in a creative way. So I think it's kind of saying whatever you want to do, whatever you were like hoping was going to come in, this does feel a little bit like career based that, you want to like help people and it's either like actual children or people's like inner children like help other people overcome their traumas or their childhood trauma and it is like a new venture for you but if you just like make sure you're paying attention to how you feel and your sensitive side and listening to hello pile number two so you chose this ruby aura quartz which I actually want to say something about here. So for whatever reason, when I was looking at this one, I felt like the crystal itself had a huge message. And it could mean that you pile number two could be <laughs> kind of struggling with um, like back pain or like slip discs or more specifically lower back pain. And... <laughs> This crystal, it's supposed to help you like listen to your heart and it does that by helping you remove fears from your root chakra. And a lot of these fears are specifically caused because of abuse in your childhood or like with your family. It doesn't have to be necessarily your childhood, but maybe your adulthood. Um, and it's just... Um, I don't know it really spoke to me and anyway so this crystal if you've been having issues with that would be maybe something to look into investing in it kind of like helps you it helps you take yourself out of a state of like survival and helps you find passion for life again like joy being in the present and it'll just help you connect your heart and your root chakra together so that they're on the same page 
Um, yeah, and then just like on a little note, if you are struggling from back pain or specifically lower back pain, it could be because of the like because of a problem of not feeling supported in your life or like um, you feel like you have a you don't have enough like a fear of lack of something fear of loss of materials or just even like being stuck in a survival state and a lot of this comes directly from your like your family systems, like your original family system. So it could be like ancestral beliefs or their like fears being put on you and you taking them on and not realizing it. It's usually like from families or societies that you grew up in that weren't okay with showing emotions and like I feel like if you ever had grief or loss in your life, uh, it just, like, wasn't allowed to be processed properly, and it it might still be a little bit stuck in the low back there, but this is a general reading, so if this doesn't resonate with you, honestly, just disregard everything I just went on a huge rant about. <laughs> it's maybe just for some of you. So, um, sorry, otherwise, you chose... Trusuum Oracle Cards. And you chose Archangel Raphael Healing Oracle Cards as well. So we're just going to pick them. Oh, I should say that um, I was going to shuffle and then pick cards, but then I just decided to save some time. I was just going to shuffle and pull all my cards for all the piles beforehand. And then we'd both look at them together and find out what you guys all got. Okay. All right, so let's see. You got home help, prayer works, recovery, give us your cares, alternative medicine, and hydration, which is upside down. I don't usually read reverse cards, but I do sometimes do it if it's something where it's telling me it's not... It has, like, you need more of this. So, like, something tells me that pile number two, you don't really like drinking water. <laughs> that you might kind of be one of those people who's like, ah, oh, it's just such a chore to drink, like, a glass a day. Or water has no taste. Or I don't like water. Anything like that. But it's actually really important that you drink more because just drinking water helps you. <sighs> well, it helps with a lot of things. It just helps your energy circulate and move. So, if you ever heard of like cleanses, they always tell you to drink water. There's, there's more than one reason for that. Like energetically, it helps you so much, like clear the old emotions stuck in you. Just, it's really good. If you don't have enough water, just think how many blocks you're creating within your physical body, just because it's not being cleared and flushed out. So hydration is always so important. It also grounds you. If you're feeling too stuck in your head or you don't ever have clarity really on how you're feeling, and yes, I said feeling, not thinking, then it could be that you're not grounded and you need to drink more water. And ironically, this guy is all red, which means you've got some grounding issues. And I also think with the, all the green there that just as we were saying before with this crystal that you guys might have some um, kind of like family trauma or abuse that happened and I do really want to apologize to you guys like that's not easy and it's not something that we just forget about but it is important that we take responsibility of how we're gonna handle it after it's happened to us so there is a lot of healing you need to be doing in those old belief systems. That is definitely a message I'm getting off right off the bat. Uh, it's very interesting. I feel like you maybe even had some religious 
trauma of some sort, and this won't be for everyone. I also feel like for some of you, you actually might have been a little more sensitive to seeing things as a kid. Like, you were, like, maybe psychically gifted. I want to say, like, specifically some of you saw, like, angels. <laughs> Which, I mean, I guess makes sense. This is, like, an angel card reading. But I feel like some of you saw a lot as a kid. And then you've shut it off a bit. Like, it scared you. People gave you a hard time for it. You weren't sure if you were, like, doing something that was okay. But what you were seeing was there and you were you were right. Like it was it was good. And I feel like this was for sure when you were children that you would have like stopped seeing it. Me around like the age like I wanna say five and then I also wanna say eight years old. So I guess it is generating could be a few of you out there. <laughs> but yeah, that does seem very important they want you to like say like you can get back to that like you did see like trust in divine guidance you are so gifted you are a powerful powerful human being you it's okay to like speak about what you've seen now it's it's safe we're not in the time of witch burnings anymore you'll be okay so even though this is a general reading, I feel like there's a specific message for a man, like a, an older man. I want to say he's like 50 plus. If you're watching this, like the angels are just saying like, we see you. We know you're watching this. This message is for you. Listen to what I've got to say. <laughs> and... I know, I guess what I love about the angels is they've always just been very straight up with me. I always hear people tell me like, oh, they're so nice and they're so gentle and they like give you cute little messages. And I'm like, I don't know what they're talking about. The angels are always like, look, you know what you're not doing. You know what you should be doing. Listen up. <laughs> but I mean, like, I get a lot of respect. I have a lot of respect for them because of that. So anyways, whoever you are, sir, this applies to you. Okay, anyways, back to the general part of this being a general reading. <laughs> so, this is really about healing, interesting enough. I guess when you ask the angels, what do you need to know right now? You really just couldn't get anything. So, this one is about healing from your traumas, your or original traumas, and being really gentle on yourself. In that you are kind of like been seeking kind of like solutions maybe to this back pain or these health problems and maybe it just came out of nowhere even for some of you where you don't understand how it got so bad so fast and it's just kind of like your body saying hey like we're not going to take this anymore you have to deal with your pardon my English, your deal with your shed. So they have given you like a few suggestions here. Like one was like, drink the water, please drink the water. Just help your body on a physical level, like clear things out. And then also, if you've been thinking about seeing a Reiki practitioner or there's like five element healing or there's... Uh, People who do chakra balancing or meridian or acupuncture. I think for you, it would be a little bit more suggested for this Reiki just once. And it can be in person or distance, but it's just like helping you realign all your chakras, getting them all to connect together with each other again. And, um, yeah, being okay with taking the alternative course. Because this isn't necessarily, although it feels like a physical issue, it's energetically and emotionally been driven there. Like, I feel like you guys have 
attacked all the physical solutions, but you haven't figured out why it's not working. And it's just that it's not on the physical level. It's on a deeper level than that. Uh, okay, so I'll just, I'll read you this card since I've been talking about it so much. So <laughs> it says, Alternative Medicine, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to the ideal healing treatment modality and for giving me clear signs and messages to validate the best path for my well-being. So yeah, don't forget to like ask for help and guidance. You can always, like before I go anywhere, I always ask like the angels, please like, help this practitioner or guide me to the best practitioner who can help me heal myself and get to the root of the cause. I always say root because if any of you have had this experience, like you can just chisel off the top layer, but you never feel like you're getting anywhere. I always feel like it's so important just to say root cause, root, (laughs) root of anything. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. And then Also, I think this might little tie into it a little bit where it says like prayer works like dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for hearing and answering my prayer of and then it says add the detail of your prayer. So it's it's just telling you guys like don't forget like I mean sometimes prayer word is really triggering to people. I personally didn't really like the organized religion path and didn't really resonate with me but I every time I see like words like dear God or prayer for this I just take it as like don't forget you can ask the universe or whatever you believe it is love and light mother earth whatever whatever makes sense to you to just like help you with the situations you want help with like you're not on your own we're all connected we're all (laughs) came from the same thing whether that was just like the same atom and has nothing to do with a god it's totally it's just totally whatever you believe. Uh, recovery. Let's see this here. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for holding my hand throughout my recovery upon the path of radiant health. Yeah, so it's just like saying like Archangel Raphael, if you don't know him, is like the Archangel of healing. So they help people get healed and they also work with healers. So he is a pretty powerful dude and you can ask him directly to just help you heal and he will either do it himself send you the right people guide you to the right steps or meditations or to the right foods or right people that help you recover so that could even be like therapists or life coaches or even like a better support system for you that help you like go through your emotional oh what am i trying to say here help help who are an appropriate emotional support for you <laughs> lots of healing and clearing so this is also interesting so when you have the recovery one it's saying that there's a little bit of a block in your heart so it, that could be either in the receiving or the giving aspect. And it either means that you've been so closed off that maybe you don't give or receive from other people, or one of those is out of balance. And it just, the best way to deal with that, as I always say, is the one affirmation where you just say, once a day, I know all you guys who hate cheesy affirmations, but they say that for every a hundred negative thoughts we have, oh, sorry, I said that backwards. For every one negative thought we have, a hundred positive thoughts is what we'd have to do to counterbalance the energy we put into that negative one because we feel the negative so strongly, unfortunately. So if you can just say one positive one when you normally don't, just think of the possibilities. So that's my little spiel about why we do affirmations. So (laughs) saying the affirmation once a day or more would be awesome is that I am open to receiving love and abundance in all its positive forms. And that's just how you can start. And then maybe when you get a little more comfortable with it, you can tweak it to like, I am receiving love and abundance in all its positive forms. I am deserving and worthy of love and abundance in all its positive forms. 
like how whatever makes sense with you but it's just telling the universe that hey i'm changing something here i know that there's something i want to be different and i'm saying yes to your help and to receiving things if it is a giving block though maybe you should try an affirmation around saying i'm open to receiving and giving equally to others and myself something like that it is important to have them equal <laughs> just just for good karma and just being a good human being. <laughs> okay, so give us your cares. <laughs> Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to release any fears to you. Please allow me to completely let go so that you can fully guide me in this situation. So it's just saying like the angels really, they really want to help you. Like they're just they're here. They're everywhere. <laughs> they really want you to ask for their help. They've been watching you, been trying to help you. They used to try to give you guidance. But if you just like let them back in, they will love to help you with whatever you ask. They want to help you clear this trauma. Like you must feel it like you're in such a dark and stuck place, but it's it's not gonna last forever. Like they're here. There's other people here, like you are so important and we want to help you get through it and i'm so sorry that all this happened to you but it's gonna be okay you're strong and you have to have a little compassion for yourself because strength isn't just about ignoring your feelings it's about making it through and living still after like not just surviving you have that within you. You are so strong. I'm sorry. So, the <laughs> Truth Serum Oracle Cards says, Perfection is a form of self-abuse. And it just recommends, um, if you have essential oils, using lime or yellow candle, Rickety the crystal, I'm sorry, I can never pronounce that word, rhodochrosite, which actually helps um, with fixing your heart and your receiving and giving and self-love. So um, that actually might be a really good one for you if you're open to having crystals. Um, yeah, I think that really might just say everything it needs to. Don't be so hard on yourself to be perfect. It's just abusing yourself in a different way. And you've got enough people who have abused you. You don't need to do it to yourself too. You deserve better. Evaluate the people in your life, then promote, demote, or terminate. You are the CEO of your own life. So I think this just goes to say, like, you know, if whoever's caused you all this like trauma and pain like if they are not treating you any better now or not treating you not even just better but like appropriately respectfully and isn't like a good support system for you it might be time to take a little break from them so that you can continue with your healing and just focus on yourself and not have any of those limiting beliefs that came from those from like your growing up to just be reinforced because you don't want them anymore. We're letting them go there. It's not how everyone is. It's just how it might have felt to this point that everyone might be like that. So yeah, maybe just taking the time to really see and set boundaries with people and know what you want and what you deserve because you do deserve so much. Okay, just because there's a couple of horses here, we're just going to see what that's all about. So I'm just going to look it up in this book I have here because I don't actually know what horse means off the top of my head. But it says, it's time to free yourself from those physically and emotionally constricting aspects of your life. And 
you you're much more powerful than you think you are this situation requires strong warrior energy bounce with sensitivity patience and compassion for yourself it says that teamwork with your friends or community is really important right now so just remembering that you're not alone and my heart really goes out to you because i feel that you felt almost like isolated like by yourself like so unsupported by everything and i don't know if it's from your childhood or just even like your journey up until now like it's just been really hard on you guys and you've not had an easy life and i'm really sorry for that um but i guess you know the angels are saying that it is it is time for things to change like you're you've seen this you've seen the pattern your body's telling you no more can you ignore it it's demanding that you step up and your life steps up and everything gets easier and better you're ready so sorry the other meaning of horse it says that you're being prompt to expand and deepen your spiritual practice, but you're not sure how to go about it. So that could even be why maybe you're watching this pull a card video and you've maybe never watched one and you're kind of like, huh, I don't even know how this is going to work or if this is really even for me, but I'm glad you're here and I hope that this helps and that you've had some clarification. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm really sorry, but everything I see says that you're going to be okay. Don't forget that you can be supported. If you don't feel like you have the right people in your life right now, they will come in. You have the angels and your guides right now. They they 100% support you. They want you to release your worries and your fears and your struggles to them. Just honestly ask them. Like I always usually say Archangel Michael because he's the one of protection, but... You can say Michael, Raphael, you can say any of them. You can even ask your guides in love and light, please take this fear from my heart or from my from my gut. And uh, just like, yeah, they, they'd love to help you out however, however they can, but you have to give them permission first. So that's all I got for you, Pile 2. I, I hope you have a good day and that this has helped you somehow and got any confirmations or validations or heard any messages that you were needing to hear yeah see you around hello pile three so you chose this ocean jasper which is red might mean you need a little more grounding right now and then you chose the mother mary or oracle cards and the angel of abundance oracle cards so originally I was going to just shuffle and then pull cards with you guys, but I just had a feeling that I'd just pull cards and then we'd read and figure out what you got together. So here we go. Got obstacles and blocks are lifted. Clearing deaths. Organized for success. Abundance Mindset, God is your source, and I should just say right now, like, it doesn't have to mean God, like, God and Jesus, it can be the universe, creator, what, wherever you resonate with, that is, like, the higher source, the higher power. Uh, releasing Jealousy, Moonlighting. And then for the Mother Mary Oracle cards, we have Abundance Garden, Peaceful Change, and Promise. So right away, I'm noticing a little bit of a theme here that you might feel a little bit stuck or blocked right now. And a lot of it is in manifestation. Hmm. And I feel like you've had an awareness that you are stuck and you've been going in circles and maybe at first they weren't bad, but now you're ready for the next thing. It's getting a little too repetitive for you. 
So, what to do about that? We're going to try to get you a little less out of your head, for starters. Seems like you need to be a little more grounded. That will just help your mind be a little clearer. And there are a few ways of doing that. I would suggest just doing the four deep breaths. Anytime you feel a little bit stressed or you notice that your thoughts are racing or even drinking water is really grounding, that would be great. Try to do that. I know it can be really hard to drink water sometimes. And then the other thing going on here is that it seems like you have a little bit of a block in your receiving side of things. So it's really hard to manifest things if you're not open to letting the universe help you or having other people help you. And this could look like feeling like no one else is going to do it right. So you have to do it or you have to be strong, stronger than anybody else. So you're doing it on your own. And you've been really guarded and protected for some of you. So a really easy way to just like help release that like need to do everything by yourself and not to trust people or to not want to take too much would be to just start with a simple affirmation today. Like just think or say or journal, I'm open to receiving love in all of its positive forms. And it seems so simple and so easy, but every negative thought you have, they say it takes 99 positive ones to counterbalance that because of the energy we put into negative thinking. So imagine if you just said one positive thing a day, it would just have such a huge, huge impact. So for those of you who felt like you have been had to be very strong and do everything on your own and it's telling you that now is like the time, the time to change all that. Like doves for me, they have a few meetings, but the main one is usually just that someone our loved ones who have passed over just like saying, "Hey, like I see you. I want you to be happy." and everything's gonna be okay. And for some of you, you might even have some path to order loved ones that you consider to be like guardian angels or like little protectors and guides. Um, Yeah, that might not be for everyone. That's just for maybe a couple of you out there. They just want you to know like everything's okay. And then for the rest of you, I kind of feel like it's like saying, confirming that like it's a new time like you're ready it's time that you just let go of your old patterns that old emotional baggage realign yourself and get moving forward out of these old ways so for you who are like I've been trying to do that but I've been feeling really stuck they have a few things here so If any of you are really, like, interested in, like, astrology or, like, the moon cycles, this would be really good for you to start doing those new moon and full moon releasing ceremonies where you just journal, you say everything you want to let go of, and then on the new moon you say everything you want to bring in, and that would be very clearing for you guys. It will help, like get all that stuff out of your head, refocus yourself and shift energies. So there's a few processes to when we have a block in manifestation. First, we want to like figure out if there's any emotions or habits that we're doing subconsciously that are holding us back. And then once we know those, we're going to try to actively release them like with affirmations, with release writing, with Uh, doing something intentionally to shift it like just even thinking like instead of doing the same routine every day today I'm gonna go walk to that street and get a different coffee like say (laughs) like it's the smallest things but it's just saying like look universe like I'm changing things things are shifting I'm ready 
and then it's just, sorry i'm just gonna read this quick uh release jealousy so jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm let other people's success inspire rather than frustrate you if they can have it so can you so actually this is a really beautiful message because sometimes we're not really even aware of the fact that we're jealous of someone or like we might not like someone <laughs> because we feel like they got it too easy or they have it too easy or something like that and this is just kind of saying like, hey, like imagine if you could just shift your perspective. Like if there's someone at your workplace that you've just really been triggered by or really not liked, maybe look a little bit closer and see that maybe it's just because there's something there that they have that you don't have that could inspire you. Like how did they get there? I'm sure they did the work. We just don't see that part once we've had it. <laughs> so yeah, it's just like change your perspective. Try to gain that like third party view. And it doesn't mean you have to love the person in the end, but it just means if you're not focusing so much on what you don't have, all of a sudden there's room for so much more good to come in. And then sorry, this card here is just also like saying out there that you're having a bit of an issue with the receiving and maybe <laughs> just going outdoors more and like, you know, like try and get out of your head more, try to be more open to just anything happening to you. Anything great can happen to you. The universe loves you and wants you to be successful. It wants to see you at its best, but it's all like on what you, you're putting out there and what you're saying you're wanting, even if it's not intentional. Sometimes we just get in those negative spirals. I know I have and we just need to like shake ourselves a little bit and be like, hey, look, like this pattern is taking over things and we've got to get out of it. <laughs> so um, I hope that made sense for everyone. It, and it's good. Like there's butterflies even in the car. They're telling you like it's time for change. You're ready. Like beautiful things are on its way. And then this is just like a nice little reminder that as I was like saying, the universe really does want to like take care of you and it wants you to be happy. What you ask for, it wants to give you. So focus on the good and f be grateful for the good and it will come to you. Don't forget to be grateful for the good. And I mean, I was, sometimes people have said that to me and I'm like, I don't feel like I have a lot of gratitude for the situations happening to me. But as some someone once told me like just writing a gratitude journal like really changes things like if you're always talking about these good things someday coming then they're always someday coming they are not in the now energy so just even like getting a pen and paper i i think it's better to actually physically write it out because sometimes we think so many things it's good to like put it on paper and make it solid <laughs> you can burn the paper after you can rip it up or something if you don't want someone to see it <laughs> if you're embarrassed about it but it's just getting it out there and if you do like burn it after just say like you're releasing it to the world for it to come true so that the energy there is not that you're trying to take it away but you're trying to create it <laughs> but yeah i would just say like i am so grateful for my abundance i am so grateful for and then go really into details like I'm so grateful for the new thing I got. Sorry, that's not a great example. It's not very specific. Obviously, I need to work on my gratitude <laughs> journaling. But if you get the idea, like be very specific about things that you already like speak about the things you want as if you do already have them so that they are in the now energy instead of the future energy. So that's just why people like me are always stressing that. You have to say that you have it now. Um, other thing we're looking at. So there is a constant thing here about clearing your heart chakra. And what that means is just maybe focusing on doing things that will help you with your self-love 
and you're you're receiving for sure still <laughs> you're receiving and uh, giving so it could mean that some of you are giving too much of yourself energetically could be financially time emotionally to other people around you and this is a little bit of a time where it's good for you to just stay with the people that truly support you and don't drain you and also to kind of cut out the people who aren't aren't respecting you and appreciating you appropriately um, at the end at this reading we're just going to do a little meditation to help you realign your chakras but we're just we're going to get through the cards first um, yeah because otherwise the message is like if any of you see Ricky practitioners or do chakra balancing of any type. It's just saying now might be a good time to go and see one. <laughs> it seems like you guys got some wonky energies, but it's nothing to be worried about. Like we could go get Reiki every day. We're human. We're always going to be a little strange. <laughs> um, organized for success. So this is actually a pretty good card too. So it just says, do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and your workspace and your finances will help know and plan your next action steps. So if you're trying to get out of cycles, out of like, just like being so stuck, Sometimes we get thinking too much about like, well, well, I have to this and that and then this and the next thing. And it's just like the angels are like, hey, pile three people, like just remember all you have to do is just start taking baby steps. Like you could, I'm always, sorry, it's funny with this group, I keep talking about making lists and writing things down. So if that's what helps you guys, if you're visual people and you like physically like crossing things off a list then this is really going to be a good just write out all the things that you could do and then like start with the baby very baby steps like say you need to create a web page you could take a profile picture for that web page first <laughs> you don't even need to worry about getting all the information on there yet or you could get like business cards out there or you could just start with creating an email for a business or what whatever it is I don't I'm not really sure why I'm going down the entrepreneur <laughs> field here but uh that gets just what came to mind but with anything you can do that like even if you're just looking for like a new job or if you have like a lot of housework to do because you're doing renovations or something like just start with a really tiny thing like even if you're like I will take out the garbage today that is a huge check off because it makes your space feel so much nicer. Like, yeah, small steps will get you there. You just got to be consistent with them and they're way less intimidating. Uh, and then just like another thing, sorry, I forgot to mention towards the start is that there seems to be a bit of a block with you guys in like following your heart and like vocalizing it. It's like your heart knows what it wants but you're not seeing that and you're not communicating to others what it wants. So you could be having some issues in your life right now where, you know, people are like saying like, you're not communicating to me what you really want, or they feel like, you know what you want, but you're not telling them. I think it's because maybe you pile number three haven't really gone within to really ask yourself what your heart's wanting. Like you just need to, Close your eyes, take a few breaths because this is probably a lot of information <laughs> and then just sit there and like see how, how does your heart feel? Like what does it tell you? How does it, what emotion comes up or do you get a picture in your head? Like it's just trying so hard to get you to see something that you're just not quite seeing right now and maybe it's a bit because of all this overwhelming everything else. But usually if we know what we want or what our heart's desiring or what it needs, that like 
clears up a lot of confusion. So I would also suggest that. <laughs> I know it can be a little bit scary or sometimes we just never really like to take the time to do that, but I think that will help you a lot just to know what's happening in there, what it's trying to show you. Maybe you already do know, but you just are needing this little push or a little reminder to communicate, see, let it like guide you. And it, it will all just make more sense from there. Okay, so clearing debts says your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. Wow, that seems nice. I, <laughs> I was kind of already mentioning this a bit, but it's always nice when you read the card and it tells you to do it anyway. So just like starting with those tiny goals and like, just going through and making those lists are really going to make you feel lighter. Like it's not going to be this chaotic mess in your head. It's going to be a breathable thing. Like it's so funny this whole time I've been doing this reading, I feel like I can hardly breathe. Like I'm not staying grounded. <laughs> I'm not keeping my thoughts calm and clear. So I feel like you guys are probably really struggling with that. And I'm sorry. That always feels really awful when that happens. And then this right here, let's see, obstacles and blocks are lifted. So that's great. We want to hear that they're leaving. That means this is a great time for you. Just already with the moon card. It's, yeah, it's time, guys. If you keep doubting anything that I've said so far, it is time to start getting out of this rut. <laughs> so this says, all your good personal work and positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles. Blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Ah, it's another gratitude card, guys. <laughs> Lots of gratitude. So it's obviously very important. I think it's just, it's really the angels are just saying like, there's so much out there for you. And it's just going to be that shift in focus, like, Instead of focusing on all those things you have to do and all that and letting it overtake your head, make your lists, make your tiny goals or your big goals that turn into big goals and then just work your way down while saying thank you. Like, thank you so much for allowing me enough time to do this. Thank you for giving me the energy to fulfill all these tasks. Like, thank you so much because the angels are here to help you. They're guiding you. They're, they're there. <laughs> you just need to ask. Sometimes we think no one's helping us, but we actually have to give them permission to help us first. So the other thing I want to just mention, if any of you have ever heard of cord cutting, like, <sighs> might be time to cord cut with some things. So how you do that is, like, I would just envision like a green bubble and I would put anything that's stressing me out or like even like relationships that, you know, with especially the people you love because so much happens with them, good and bad, that sometimes we just need to clean off our connections. They're all dusty and grimy. So we're just going to think of a green bubble. We're going to put like, say, I want to say money for you guys. Like if you're really stressed out about money, you're going to put money in that bubble and you're going to see a cord connecting you to that. And you're going to ask Archangel Michael to please cut the cord. And when he does, it's just going to clear off all that gook and all those gross beliefs we've put on that poor money because money isn't bad. It's people's perception of it or our family's limiting beliefs or societal limiting beliefs that to have money can be bad or good. So we're just going to clear the slate there. And then what I like to do for things like this is after I see that the cord is cut, I like to envision a really nice, clear, free flowing energy of just pure love and light attached to me and money in this case. And I mean, cords form with everything. Every time we have a new experience, there's going to be a cord that reforms. But 
I think sometimes when we want it in our life, like money, like it's really good just to really say like, I intentionally am throwing so much love and light out there towards it because money is my friend. I love money and it allows me to do so much good in this world. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't really think I was going to go on a little rant about money, but <laughs> here we are. Okay. So for these cards, uh, yeah, it's interesting because you didn't get a little red in anywhere else, but to me, red with the crystal you chose and like with these Mother Mary cards, it's telling me that you're two in your head and taking those breaths and being grounded in your feet is really going to help you. It's going to help you feel so much better and take way better care of yourself. Um, yeah, and then just this is a time of a lot of clearing and healing for you and self-love and taking the time to get the things done that you need to get done, but also not overwhelming yourself with it. <laughs> not, yeah. And speaking, speaking a bit, what you want from your heart, that is like a really big theme here. Like, I'm not really sure it is a general reading, so I'm sure it could be different for everyone. Maybe that's why I'm not like picking up on a specific detail, but it's just like a lot of you aren't saying what's in your heart and the angels are telling you like, it's really important to do that. It's really going to make you feel so much better. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to read these because I really like their messages. So it says, Our Lady of the Abundant Garden, for every need that you have, there are ample channels through which that need can be fulfilled. You can, ha you can delight in your life and enjoy all the riches that are available to you. If only you open your heart and release your fear. It is a habit, not reality, that keeps you uncertain. Trust in our mother and you shall be nourished in her living garden of love. So yeah, that's just like, <sighs> sorry, I still keep breathing really funny here. So I'm either talking a lot or I'm just picking up on all this ungroundedness. Okay, so what I got from that is just like a good sum up of what we've been over is that it's kind of your perception. You're like limiting yourself accidentally. Maybe it's like not just your beliefs, but it's like what other people have said around you that are like making you be a little more stuck on the negative side and the overwhelmed side. And it's telling you also here only if you open your heart and release your fear. Like, like it's, it's just that stuff that us as humans, we create and limit ourselves with you are limitless it's only us that puts the limits truly on ourselves so i hope that i hope that helps encourage some of you to move forward it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy peasy but it just means like everything's there to help you you just gotta set yourself up in these stages or in these tasks and organize it and you'll just feel so much better it'll help you get it done so much easier okay next one is our lady of promise as you labor towards a peaceful resolution and become willing and capable of stepping into the freedom of a new cycle of your destiny here her light is there her promise is urging you onward no matter what it is happening for you right now the deep truth of what is unfolding is her promise of new life everything else is just a symptom of that have faith trust her and believe so I guess it's just confirmation that you're stepping into new cycles and that your guides are there. The angels are there. Mother Mary's there. She, she's actually a really good one. I find for a lot of ladies, like obviously she's a great guide for men's too, but I find that she's just such a powerful woman, especially of her time. So she's, she's really going to help you step into your feminine and open up that receiving and that self-love block and hold space for yourself and others like you haven't been able to before okay last one our lady of peaceful change our lady comes to you now to ally your fears everything is going to work out for the best even significant or perhaps unwanted change can become surprisingly gentle when you trust in her protection and care okay so see file three it can be surprisingly gentle change it's just your it's just saying like you got to tackle it a little bit differently, not so head on and too aggressive that it's terrifying, gentle. 
small baby steps will get you there too. There is healing wisdom beneath, beneath what is unfolding, and your soul shall prosper from it in due course. Be kind to yourself, trust yourself, and trust in her. All will be well. <sighs> That's a lot of clearing work right there. <laughs> yeah, so I hope this helped. I did say that I was going to do a little healing. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. <laughs> In your head or out loud, whatever you prefer, just think either yes, you consent to having Reiki energy balance out your chakras or no, if you don't, because you have free will and I am not going to ever force anything on anybody if they don't want it, if they're not ready or if yeah they're just just interested in it or not so if you are not interested you can go ahead and exit out and enjoy the rest of your day i hope it's great if you are interested in this um yeah just mentally verbally however you want to do it ask for yes for permission okay here we go so if you feel called to do to do so Close your eyes. Yes, we're going to breathe again just to make sure you're in your bodies and not floating around somewhere. And I'm just going to ask that the angels help send this Reiki energy to you all who have consented to it to help realign your chakras and your energies and Help straighten out any of that gooey stuff that might be stuck in there. So, I don't know, hopefully that helps some of you. If not, I'm sorry, you might actually just need to go see someone in person or do some like YouTube meditations on clearing your own chakras because that's always, always possible for you. If you can do your own work, I always think that's best, best way to learn. So, anyways, I hope this helped. So, since Steve already chose to be in some of the readings, I figured I'd just give you a little show of him so i just want to say thank you for listening to my first ever pick a card and if you enjoyed it or if you want to see more i would love if you subscribed that way you can actually find me on youtube and then if you're interested in a personal reading or a more detailed reading for yourself and that isn't just generalized for a bunch of people you can go in the description box and find my website below. And I just hope you guys all have a really good day. Thank you for giving me your time.